Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you my travel makeup, cosmetics and toiletries and all that jazz. I actually filmed this that video about three years ago, I'm pretty sure it was one of the first ever videos on my channel. So I will link that below, but I'm probably quite embarrassing in it because I was when I started. And to be honest, not loads has probably not changed to be honest, because I still kind of take the same kind of things, but I've just switched up all the products and yeah, I will start with the travel my travel makeup and cosmetics. So I feel like with when you're traveling with makeup and cosmetics, like even if you are going for like a one night stay or a two week holiday, I feel like it's hard to even downsize in products because if you wear it once one day, like if you use like 20 products a day, it doesn't matter if you're going for five days or one day, like you will still use them products. That's kind of my um, justification of how much I'm taking. It might not be a lot to you, but I feel like it is quite a lot. But I also have very sensitive skin and hair. So if I use a product, I kind of, I have to use it if you get what I mean else. My hair or my skin is just going to flare up or go or die, which I really don't want. Also I feel like because it I'm packing for, it's actually a five day, four night holiday that I'm packing for. I'm actually going to Suffolk. There will be a weekly vlog up next week. It's the same place I went last year. Um, but when you're obviously going in the swimming pool, chlorine and beach hair and I feel like you need extra products because I just can't be dealing with scraggly hair. Like it just really bugs me. Um, so yeah, so this is my makeup bag, which seems very big, but I do also have quite a lot of other stuff in it. And this is kind of like my main toiletry bag. The only thing I haven't packed yet is my toothbrush, but that will be done in the morning. Everything else I've managed to kind of, I've got copies of at home. So I'm going to quickly start with my makeup bag and... I just realised I'm going <laughs> to create such a mess. Uh, just starting with the, whoa, with the makeup bag. This is just the Primark one and this is one from Superdrug. And I love this one because it means you can stand all your products up and makeup one, well, you don't really need to stand them up, do you? So this is kind of just what's in. So I've got my Tangle Teaser in this bag. Um, some cotton buds and cotton wool. Well, so I've got two combs, and the reason why I'm taking two is because this is what I use when I have wet hair, and this is what I use when I have dry hair. Yes, my hair is really bad, so I need to use a wooden comb when I can, but wooden really doesn't work with wet hair, so that's why I've got that. So yeah, that's why. I look like I'm being really excessive already, but it's because I am. I also have two butterfly clips. Again, yes, because if I'm straightening my hair, I might need two, um, and I've always worn them ones. Uh, what else? And that's just some what you call it what you call it bubble wrap to protect my makeup i don't think that's actually going to do much in this bag it's got a little pocket inside like your show keep some nail clippers tweezers jewelry and some hair bubbles and grips essentials you never know when you're going to need them i've just emptied everything out of this bag and grouped them in the categories just so it's easy for you guys and you kind of have a structure to the video a bit of justification for me bringing all this makeup is if i want to bring an extra eyeliner or something and i don't use it it doesn't matter because i mean look how small it is it's not like a massive jumper so i feel like it's okay because it all fits in the bag and that's okay for me starting up makeup brushes and sponges wise I'm taking my big sponge and my small sponge because it's what I use to apply my foundation and concealer. Brushes wise, um, I'm taking this I use for powder under my eyes. This I use for powder and bronzer. This blush and this highlight. And then I've got four of the mini ones because they all serve a different purpose, I promise. Um, this is for under eye and inner corner. Blending, crease, lid. And I suppose they definitely um, could be versatile for other stuff, but like I said, not very big. I also have my eyelash colours and a nail file, because I use eyelash colours every day and you never know when your nail is going to chip. For face products, I take my blotting sheets, my Barry M primer and the All Night Setting Spray from Urban Decay. I've just bought a miniature version and to be honest, I'm not loving the smell of this new one and I looked up reviews before I bought it because obviously it's a new formulation, new bottle and yeah, the smell is a bit dodgy but I'm hoping it still works exactly the same. So for foundation, I'm taking my Revlon Colour Stay. This is actually a new bottle because my old ones just went out and can I just say, I've never finished a foundation before apart from my old number 7 one so this shows that this must be a real life, it's not a quiet lifesaver but you know what I mean. It definitely shows it's one of my favourites. I'm also taking my CC cream because to be honest, out of them two, I'm not quite sure which ones I'm going to wear if I'm going to feel like heavy or light makeup. Concealer wise, um, taking my 
last imperfection in cool medium for spots and my last imperfection in fair for highlighter under eyes whatevs um taking my natural collection powder uh where's my face products and my cheat trio which i've probably used in all my videos and it's my favorite my huda bronzer by benefit my soap and glory blush in the shade rosy cheek and my mary luminizer for eye primer i'm going to take my mac mini concealer i mean technically i probably could use my last imperfection concealer but this just works so well and i know because i'm probably going to sweat quite a lot this lasts again for eyeshadow I really couldn't decide and I just didn't want to spend all my time deciding which eyeshadow palette to take when they're both so slim. So I'm just going to take my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics and my Peach Palette. This because I love the mattes in it and then this has got peach and shimmers. And I really can't decide out of them too. Like it's so pathetic like I probably could decide. But they're really slim and they're not taking up much room. And at the end of the day it does still fit in my makeup bag. I'm also taking this single eyeshadow from Emmy Way just to go in my inner corner. It was only a pound. It's very small so... And the mascara I'm taking is the Falsies because it's my favourite at the minute. Eyebrow wise, I'm taking my Rimmel Brow This Way pencil, which I'm loving at the minute. And I'm just taking this because the spoolie on the end to use. And I'm taking a white eyeliner, a black liner, and a black felt tip eyeliner. Probably won't do liner, but you never know. Um, but yeah, they're really small. And for lips, I've got my Carmex lip balm and it's also got SPF 15 in it. I'm taking my number 7 lip balm and I'm pretty sure this is like, yep, yeah, in the shade Ballerina. This is just for everyday and again it's got SPF 15 in it so it's great. And then lips, again I've got four choices um, which I feel like is okay. I probably again could get it down to more but I couldn't decide. Um, so as you can tell I'm a very indecisive person. I get too attached to things. Um, so I've got my Bourjois Rouge Edition in the shade Beige Trench. And then I've got my Rimmel Colour Crush and the right into a bluff so I'm not quite sure which shade it is um, and I've got two of my NYX soft matte lip creams one in 4 London and one in 15 Athens um, so I've kind of got two kind of peachy ones one brown and one beige so that's all the makeup and does it seem a lot? I think it probably does but when I watch other YouTubers doing videos they kind of take more than me so that makes me feel a bit better we're now going to get into toiletries that this is going to be in a random order so obviously I've got my toothbrush, which I haven't packed yet, but that'll be in the morning. I've got some toothpaste. Um, if you want to know which one I use, it's the Colgate Max White one. But I'm going to try out this charcoal one that I bought tonight. And I'm pretty sure I probably am going to do a video review on that in the future. Um, pads, yeah, essential. Um, a razor. Um, floss, because I don't tend to do it a lot at home. But it's weird, on holiday I tend to take better care of my dental health because I don't know I just get more of a routine on holiday and three aerosols I've got my dry shampoo Charles Wellington hairspray and my Lee Stafford dehumidifier which is a godsend like honestly this works a miracle then simply got some eye makeup wipes and these are the ones from Asda they are my favorites and I'm pretty sure they're quite cheap I then have a shower cap because I'm not going to want to be getting my hair wet every single day in the shower or they'll probably be getting wet in the pool anyway so that's probably unnecessary then got my headband to tie back my hair for my makeup. Right, so in this bag, I like to bag them up in separate bags because then if anything leaks, then it's not going to get over everything. So in here, I've got my eye cream, moisturisers, I've got a day and a night one, deodorant, which is the Nivea one. Um, I've got some of the Soap and Glory Heal Cream in here because obviously swimming, I'm going to get dodgy feet. Um, the night cream is the number 7 one, my day cream is the Nivea. I've got my nasal spray because I have a very blocked nose all of the time. It's something I have to live with, I suppose. Um, and what else do I have in there? A Ted Baker body spray, a vitamin E eye cream, and also my number 7 mini eye serum, um, which I got in the advent calendar, not last year, the year before. Uh, fragrances, I've also got this mini touch, uh, spray from New Look, and oh my god, you need to go try it. It's my favourite perfume I've ever smelt in the whole wide world. Probably on par with the Katy Perry one in the red bottle, whatever that's called. But honestly, it smells so good. And also my Zoella Sweet Inspirations. The reason why I'm taking a few sprays is because they've literally all got like none left. And I've not really got a mini bottle that has a lot left that will kind of last me a week. Um, in the next, just found some Vaseline. Simple. In the next bag, I have got some shampoo and conditioner just in travel bottles. And this is the OGX coconut one. It's my favourite one at the minute. It's helping my hair so much. 
I did have really bad hair loss and hair breakage, but it's starting to get better. So if you want a video on that, let me know because I've honestly got some amazing products that work miracle. I also have in here, it's a bit of a really random order that I put these in the bag. My Nivea eye makeup remover and look how cool that looks. Like how it's just separated. I love it. And in here I've got my Aussie leave-in conditioner because like I said, when you go swimming, it definitely helps with chlorine hair. And in the last massive bag, um, what have I got? I probably should be taking these out, but it's just easier because I need to go to bed soon. Um, but... So I've got my sun cream and we always use this Tesco's one. I'm pretty sure we probably used it for years and it's good and it smells really nice. So that's a plus. I've got, what is this? That is, oh yes, that is my detangling hair because now my hair's like super, super long. I can't wash it or do anything with it without detangling spray. Um, I've got some shaving cream. I've got a water spray. Um, that you can double up as a toner, but I just like it to refresh myself. Then got my mouthwash, and then another travel bottle, which is the Colgate Max White one to max with the toothpaste. I then have a Garnier micellar water, and if you know, I use the Avian one, but that's a really big bottle, and this actually works quite good, and I don't think it's upset my skin yet, so I'm going to take this and try it out. I've got two mini shower gels because they are really mini. I've got a Calvin Klein one, which I think I got in an order with Feel Unique ages ago, and a Ted Baker one, um, and it's in the green scent, whatever that name of the scent is. For face sun cream, I've got this number seven one. Body lotion, I've got this Nivea one. Um, what else have I got in there? Oh, my hair oil, which I'm gonna get out of the bag, actually, because you won't be able to see that well. It's my favorite hair oil at the minute, Pantene. It says to wet, use it on wet hair, but I use it on dry and wet and it works, you know, good on both. I've also got my heat spray in here, which is the Lee Stafford one. Um, and my face wash from Cetaphil. I can honestly not go out with this. And this is just the best travel bottle I've ever seen. Like, yes, I'm getting hyped over travel bottles, but it's perfect. Like, that's literally what I need for um, the face wash, like a pump bottle. I think that is everything so sorry if it wasn't quite clear because I'm just showing you like this but I really need a video to get up so I've kind of just had to show it you at a brush but I suppose it actually shows you how I pack I think it's so important to as many things you can get miniature versions and also depot them into travel bottles you can get them from Primark as the cheapest place super drug boots anywhere pretty much do them um also put them in bags inside your bag and kind of spread them out so if one product leaks it's not going to get everywhere it's only going to get over some products um what other tips have i got yes in this bag where was the bag i'm not sure where oh it's on the floor in this one i put these four separately because these are all ones with dodgy tops so what i've actually done with this as well because they're just cheap bowls um i've also put some cling film between the bottle and the lid and i've also kind of put a tape over the lid um that's with all four of these bottles that's only because um i definitely know they will leak without that because the lids are so dodgy but i don't have any other bottles to put them into and i'm not bringing some massive tubs of shampoo and conditioner so yeah sorry about the unorganized video in my head this video was going to be very organized but then i realized i actually had no time so it's kind of gonna have to be a rush video i probably rambled on but you know me that's what i do best so remember to like, subscribe and comment maybe where you were going on holiday. I'd really like to know because a few people I know this year are going to like quite extravagant places. Um, I've just realised I've got my play suit on back to front. It literally, that, that shows how much of a bush I'm in. It literally looks the same from both ways. Literally sums up the video, doesn't it? Back to front. No, why? Oh. Yeah, I think this better end the video <laughs> so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video which will be a suffolk weekly vlog and hopefully it won't be as manic as this bye